Um, welcome from my side, from Berlin. My name is Viola Tash and um, I work the Berlin School of Economics and Law. And today I'd like to um, introduce you to some of our programs and also to our university. So this is what we are going um, to cover now. Um, yes, as I said, first I'd like to introduce our school and then I will point out three um, specific program, our MBA program, our um, Master of International Business Management and um, a little outlook to a third program. And then, of course, I will um, give you contact details for further questions because um, as far as I understood, um, you you know, we do not have that much time to answer all of your questions today live, so um, it would be very helpful if you could then maybe send your questions to us via email. So um, where are we located? Um, you already heard some um, presentations from other Berlin, uh, from, I'm sorry, from other German uh, universities that uh, we are located in Berlin in the more or less north, a little bit northeast of Germany, um, in the heart of Europe, as we always say. Um, Berlin, as Germany's um, capital, is a very um, unique um, city. Um, it's a very vibrant capital and it has a lot of culture, art and fashion to offer. It's a very multicultural um, city as well, so you'll find a lot of people from all over in Berlin. You will hear a lot of languages here. And um, also man many uh, creative alternative people, many students, because the cultural scene is just so big in Berlin. And also because of our still pretty low living um, expenses and affordable prices compared to other big international um, cities or other capitals such as London or Paris, Berlin has still um, lower prices, which makes it um, attractive to live here. Our university, the Berlin School of Economics and Law, is the third largest school of applied science um, in qualifications of business administration and economics in Germany. Um, a University of Applied Science is a specific um, type of um, um, university that is also focused on um, practical aspects. So you will find this in all of our um, degrees and all of our programs that we, um, you know, try to offer you a lot of, uh, yeah, for instance, a good network and um, practical courses and so on, and I will speak about this later on. Um, we have a, a lot of international partners. Um, we have about 150 partner universities, which is quite a size or quite a number for, for our, you know, small university, because we do have about 10,000 students, which makes it um, a rather, yeah, smaller university, I would say, uh, much bigger than most private universities are. But compared to our big Berlin universities, let's say the Free University, I think the Free University has probably 50,000 students or more. Compared to this, it's still a smaller university. Um, and yeah, it's a public university that's also um, important for you to know. Um, and we do have a large network of companies um, that, they cooperate, that we cooperate with. Uh, the campus is located in the heart of Berlin. That's really nice. So um, you can reach it via public transport. We have a very good tran public transport system in Berlin. So you can take the subway or the bus when going to school. That's very convenient. And something that's, that we are really uh, proud of, we're the first German university that offered the MBA program in Germany in 1992. So one of the programs that I will introduce you to in a minute. Um, the program is already quite uh, popular, for instance, in the United States and Germany. It's still a little less popular, but it's getting more and more. 
The pictures that you can see are all taken on campus, so you get an idea what um, it looks like. So these are a few um, of our international partner universities um, that our institute cooperates with and that you might get the possibility to visit during your time in Berlin. Um, so we do have a couple of universities in the United States um, and in Great Britain. Um, then we also have um, a partner university in Poland, our neighbor country. And then something that, um, yeah, we have a partner university in India that, um, you know, you will probably not go to. <laughs> and another one in Hong Kong and then um, Vietnam. So really interesting schools. Oops, sorry. Now I would like to speak about the MBA full-time program. So this is a um, management program that is focused on leadership skills. It's a 15-month full-time program in English. So no German language um, skills are required, but we do offer German language courses for those who are interested. And of course, as I think um, the previous uh, speaker mentioned, it's always good to know some German when you live here, right, for everyday life, although Berlin is so international. It starts in September every year, and um, we also offer a really intensive career development program and service that contains, for instance, consulting and coaching, um, CV checks. Uh, they offer a lot of um, corporate um, visits, Right, so we use our network quite a lot for you to, um, you know, get in contact with with possible um, employers because we really want you to prepare for a possible stay in Germany so that you can work in Germany as well. And we offer a welcome service and support throughout your time in Berlin. So something that we do for all. All of our international students we pick you up from the airport <laughs> so not all of us one of us will pick you up and bring you um, to the place you will stay at we do not have own dormitories um, but we can help you to find a place to stay um, and we also you know guide you through all the um, necessary paperwork you have to deal with in the very beginning um, all the visa papers and everything Um, here you can see a few of our elective modules that you can pick from when uh, choosing this program. For instance, we do have a really interesting uh, module that's called Doing Business in Asia and that includes a visit to Hong Kong, um, another one to the United States, um, but you can also focus on entrepreneurship and innovation, um, digital business leadership, um, supply chain management and many other Something I'd like to stress is that our MBA program is very, very international. So we do have students from basically from all over. So you will also have class with German students, yes, <laughs> but your classmates will be from the United States, from uh, Thailand, from France, from Great Britain, from China, everywhere. And that is something that our students um, very much appreciate. Um, because it makes um, your group so diverse. So all of you have a different um, study background and a different work background. And then we have so many different nationalities that you can really learn from each other. And we have so many perspectives to offer you. So these are a few pictures of our students going to San Diego to our partner university last year um, for a so-called study visit. This is for the students to get to know the university, but first of all, the local business life. So we want them to really visit companies to see what it's like, um, you know, uh, what's the corporate world like in the United States. And then, of course, we offer a few cultural visits as well. The same in Hong Kong. It's a very, very full program with all kinds of really interesting companies and seminars also to visit. 
and in Poland, the next one. Um, so you will get to see also some plans um, to see what, you know, for instance, on the picture on the um, left-hand corner, this is where um, a huge company that produces buses um, is quite successful. For this program, you need to have completed a university program. Um, that means a bachelor degree is sufficient and it could be a three-year bachelor degree. Um, but something that's specific is you need to have work experience of at least three years, what we call postgraduate work experience. So something that you have collected after your degree. The degree, something I um, forgot to mention, um, could be any type of um, discipline. So it doesn't have to be a business degree because the MBA program is um, open for all kinds of um, graduates. So if you have a degree in, let's say, humanities, um, that's that's fine, right? You will We will ask you to hand in all your documents later on, um, also your degree um, and documents that prove your work experience, and then um, you will be invited to a Skype interview with the academic director of our MBA program, and you know, all together, um, the admission boards um, get a picture from our candidates and can tell whether or not our can this candidate um, will be able to take part in the MBA program. As the program is in English, we require you to hand in a TOEFL or IELTS test. And um, we require a tuition fee of 17,800 euro in total for the entire degree. Um, that includes everything except your personal expenses, such as um, you know living living expenses and so on. And we do have a few MBA scholarships for women that you can apply for. And then a second degree I'd like to introduce to you is the Master of International Business Management. This is a little similar to the MBA program, but it has a Master of Science um, degree, right? So it's a different type of, of, of degree. But it has an international management focus, and um, we offer three different types of um, programs that you can pick from either the international management or the digital business management and leadership or management and economics. 15-month program in English and starts in September as well and you could stay um, a whole semester abroad for instance at our partner university in London if you're interested in or in you know India. A um, few of our um, modules that you will be able to take. Um, so you can see it's a little different. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, I mean, it's similar to the MBA program, but it also has a slight different focus. And as you can see on this slide, you'll be able to pick from um, either international management or, you know, the three types that I mentioned before, and they all include a very specific visit. So the first of all, the first um, type includes a visit to our partner university in London, um, the study visit for you to get to know the British business culture, and the second one we offer in, for the second and third one we now offer a so-called safari in the Berlin area. So it has nothing to do with animals. We just <laughs> named it like this, um, and we will actually visit companies um, and um, institutions and so on in the Berlin area. Because most of our students told us they really love our, um, you know, trips abroad. But as they are planning to stay in Berlin later on, many of them, they would also actually like to be connected with this industry even more than what we do now. Yeah, same. Then, um, you know, as I mentioned before, with our study visits. This is what our students did in London. They visited, for instance, Santander. Bank and the Accenture and the BMW plant, which was really interesting. That is what the business safari um, can look like, because Berlin now offers a lot of entrepreneurship 
um, related uh, institutions, um, for instance, shared workspaces, um, a lot of startups, um, and so on. So it's it's a it's a great opportunity for you to get to know this. The admission requirements are similar to the MBA program, but the difference is here you only need one year of postgraduate work experience instead of three. The rest is um, completely, you know, the same. Um, and but our fee is, um, you know, it, it's a different fee. We are we require twelve thousand nine hundred euro for this program. And since we offer, um, or since we only require one year work uh, post graduate work experience instead of three, those students are a little little bit younger than the MBA students. The MBA students, I would say, are on average about 30 years old. So we have a few students that are maybe 20 something, but then we have many that are 30, 34, I don't, maybe 40 here and there. And just for you an outlook on what else we offer, we do have a so-called Chinese European Economics and Business Studies um, degree. Um, that allows you to also spend one semester in China. So we offer the, uh, you the possibility to get both degrees, one from our university and the other one from uh, Chengdu in China. It's a full-time program for two years. And this is in case you are interested in, um, you know, Chinese European uh, studies. Um, yes, I can or we can um, send you more information on this program if you're interested in Just send us an email. So I'd just like to highlight a few of our strong points why um, I think you should study at the Berlin School of Economics and Law. Um, yes, as you can see, we have international accreditations. Our MBA program does have a so-called MBA accreditation, which is a very high qualified um, accreditations for business schools worldwide. Um, we, we do have a real life intercultural experience that we offer. So we don't only train you in theory, but you actually experience it every day uh, with your classmates. Um, we do have um, professors with management experience because one of the re requirements for professors to uh, work at a University of Applied Science is that they have collected work experience outside of university. And that's why they bring in a um, really good understanding of the industry and um, a big network as well. And our um, study fees are still reasonable because we are part of a um, public university that makes it, um, you know, make the fees smaller compared to our private competitors, for instance. And Berlin is just a great place to live. <laughs> I can tell you it's not boring at all. There are many things to do here, right? So you um, should be really busy during your time here. Yes, and on this picture you can see um, our students um, last year graduating. Um, we do hold a graduation ceremony at the Berlin City Hall. You can actually rent this. So this is the place where our Berlin mayor, uh, you know, works. <laughs> And um, these are our students um, when graduating. And so maybe, you know, one day one of them could be you. And now I'd like to thank you for your um, attention. Um, I have included the contact details of my colleague. So as you can see, that's not me. That's my colleague Anne. She's the uh, program coordinator of the MBA program and the um, LIPMA program that I just introduced you to. And that's her email and that's also our um, homepage. So please feel free to contact us with questions that you have um, and we'll be happy um, to, to help you. And now I'm not sure if we do have a few minutes to answer questions <laughs> live here on camera. I have uh, five minutes. Five so we'll minutes, use yeah. them. Yeah, we do have five minutes. And one question that I have here is from Shubham, who asks, how is an MBA program different from the MSc International Management Program, mm -hmm. especially in terms of the credits that one gets? 
Uh, you will earn 90 credits for both of them. That is the same, but the, M the MBA program is a different, um, so, so first, as I mentioned, a different type of degree. <coughs> MBA degree versus a Master of Science degree, and then uh, the content is a little different. So you would have to look at both of them in detail and really compare them to see the modules. Um, and for instance, the study abroad opportunities are a little different, and our career service is um, stronger for the MBA program, I would say. And also the MBA program focuses more on leadership skills. Uh, this is what I would say are the major differences. All right. The next question we have is from Gaurab, who says, what is a master thesis in an MBA? Is it any different from an internship? If yes, how? Um, if it's different from an internship, you said? No. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's yeah, the question. You. Um, uh, no, so the, the MBA program does not include an, an internship, but the master thesis will be a, a written thesis at the very end, um, where you will have to, it's, it's basically like a capstone project that the students will have to work on, and you will get a few months time for this um, to really write a thesis so it's a written written thesis that you will hand in and then you will also ne uh, need to defend it so there's something like an oral exam at the very end where you will have to speak about your thesis with um, the professors and that grade you who grade you we have a question regarding application and the CV, the requirement of the CV. So the student is asking, is the Europass, the Europass format good enough a CV format if I am to apply to the Harvey Air Berlin? Yes, that's a, that's a fine format for the CV. Um, our application process works like this, that we have an online um, application tool that, where you would have to upload all your documents. Um, so at this stage, you do not have to um, send anything via mail. So all the um, references and documents that you have uh, can be uploaded. And once you come to Berlin, you will have to show the original ones. Um, but we understand that most of the students, as we have so many different nationalities, do have different, you know, types of, um, you know, application documents, right? Um, yeah. For instance, the the degree that you have. The certificate of your of your bachelor or master degree looks different everywhere. So our um, colleagues are quite experienced by now to, to look at. That. Yes. Right. A question we have from Nimit, who says, uh, "Do you require G GMAT at all, or if I have scores, then would they be of any use when I yes. apply to Javier?" So um, we do not require the GMAT. But um, we um, just encourage students that everything, anything they have that is kind of helpful for us to include it to your application. So um, if you already have that, then and that's a good um, information for, for us or for the admissions board to know. And they will certainly look at it, but it's not a requirement. OK, and then we have a question from Vipul. He asks, what is the ranking of the Have Air? That's a, that's a very good question because there are so many, many rankings. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. On the kind of ranking that you speak of, I mean, um, the big rankings, uh, the big international rankings that are mainly published by the United States, for instance, they usually um, only include bigger universities than ours. So we might not appear there, but it's because of our size. We are considered to be rather smaller, right? We, I mean, we have an MBA class every year um, of maximum 35 students, which makes it a really personal um, atmosphere. And we do not have like you know, 100 MBA students every year, just just for an, just an example. Um, but for some, uh, we do have some German um, rankings um, that we rank quite well. Um, but it, yeah, as I said, it's a difficult question to answer because it's, um, uh, yeah, for, so for the German ones we do well, but for the international ones, um, they might not look at smaller German universities. Yes. Yes, I must add here that ranking is a different animal altogether. 
So when you look at a course, it's always very advisable to see where that course takes you, what kind of support you get, what kind of jobs you get. And a good thing to do is very often to interact with alumni who have done that program. And those are the things that universities very often facilitate. Am I right there, Ms. Tash? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We also have a big um, alumni network as well. And um, yes, we do have a, for instance, a Facebook um, page just for our institute where you can get in, in touch um, with. And th yeah, so that's that's a good answer. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. right. All right. With that, we come to the end of this session as well. Thanks a lot. A very interactive session. Thanks a lot, Ms. Tash, for the inputs. I also got to learn a few things today. I thank you for that personally as well. And thank you, students. Thanks for keeping the questions flow coming. I know we have answered a few. We have not answered a few. You still have the email ID on your screens. Kindly quickly note it down and mark all your questions to the bps-mbafull at ID. Mm -hmm. We are looking forward to receiving your emails and your queries.